Welcome to A Bill a Minute from GovTrack, your 60-second breakdown of interesting bills in Congress. I'm Jesse Rifkin. In 2019, the State Department spent $84,000 of taxpayer money on a statue created by Bob Dylan. Yes, that Bob Dylan. It was intended for display at the U.S. Embassy in the southern African nation of Mozambique. Now, while this particular purchase attracted headlines, it occurred as part of the State Department's larger program, Art in Embassies, or AIE, which costs about $2.3 million annually. The No Art in Embassies Act would do just what its name describes and would ban new taxpayer money from going towards artwork in U.S. embassies around the world. It was introduced in the House by Tennessee Republican Representative Tim Burchett. Now, supporters argue that the bill prevents an absurd and expensive use of taxpayer dollars, especially one that goes towards Bob Dylan of all people. And the guy just sold his song catalog and publishing rights to Universal Music for $300 million. Does he really need 84000 from U.S. taxpayers? But opponents counter that the Art and Embassies program helps foster diplomatic relations as part of a so-called soft power approach, which emphasizes cultural connections in addition to economic connections and military threats. Well, in honor of Bob Dylan, here's a song I wrote about uh, this bill and his sculpture at the embassy in Mozambique. How many sculptures must an embassy buy before their finances are weak? How much artwork can the government buy before it makes all of us shriek? How many paintings need to be bought before our economy's weak? The answer, my friends, is there in Mozambique. The answer is there in Mozambique.